I am hopping on with a little project share using some of the new dies from KS Craft for the April release of 2024. Uh, these dies were sent to me for free. I'm on the design team and they sent these to me in exchange for me sharing them with you and also giving you some inspiration on how you could use them. So the first thing I want to share is this um, book mini album die. And the die itself comes with the pieces to make uh, the cover of a book and um, you can turn it into a mini album if you want, or you can keep it as a flat embellishment. And I decided to put it in my Disney album. So I created the book um, but I modified it just a little bit and I wanted to share it with you guys how I did that. So what I did is I just um, cut out the pieces of the book and I uh, layered them together. But what I did was I um, cut with my scissors right here along this edge. So after I glued this white piece down, um, I just glued the book cover here on the spine and then I trimmed with my scissors right across the bottom and then I scored here and what it did was it made uh, the book open so that on the inside of my album I can add my photos so I thought that was a really fun idea um, a way, another way that you can use this die if you want to put it in a mini album or you can maybe even make it into a card or something like that um, you can make it so that this top part opens up and then you can put some photos or what have you on the inside. And so I thought that was really fun. It was super easy to do. Like I said, I just cut the pieces out and then um, <clears throat> I, you know, use this white layering piece back here and I didn't adhere this top part all the way to that. I only adhered it right here on this side. And then I just trimmed, uh, once I layered this part on, I just trimmed with my scissors across this line and then I scored it here so that it would open up. And so now I have a page in my album where I can add some photos. And so I decorated the front. I'm using the Simple Stories, I think it's at the park collection. And um, I used the um, Happiest Place Sentiment from the Sentiment set. And I think it just turned out super duper cute. I really love the way this is. It's very fun and interactive. And I think that's really cute. So I can add a photo here and here. Or I could just put one here and then add some journaling over here or whatever. Um, it would also be cute to make it into a pocket. So if I left this back part open, I could have uh, slid like a bookmark inside. How cute would that be? And then you could pull the bookmark out. I actually just thought of that <laughs> or else I probably would have done it for my album. Um, but that would be really cute if you create a little pocket there and then added a bookmark at the top. That would be really fun with like a little tassel and everything. That would be really cute. So yeah, so that's uh, what I created using the book mini album die. Okay, and then I shared some of these things a little bit in my unboxing video but I've now used them to create actual embellishments and things. So I just took these ice creams and added bows to them and a little white gel pen and uh, made them into little embellishments. And then I packaged them up using this bag topper die from last month's release. And then I used the, um, the little bow here that came out this month. And then I've got the happy sentiment. And then I had this little sticker in my stash that says hello. So it just says happy hello across the top on the bag topper. And I think that turned out really sweet. I love this bag topper because you can use it for any occasion. And there it comes in three different sizes. So there's a large, medium, and small. And this is the medium one. And so um, it's really great and versatile. Perfect, perfect. And I'll link everything in the description box below if you want to check it out. Uh, I also created these uh, word clusters. Uh, I love to create these um, for, uh, you know, projects and things like that. They're so fun and they come together really easily and they're a great way to use your scraps. So I just took some scrap paper that I had from this collection and just kind of layered it all up. I also included these little uh, banners here, the um, garland, and this one is the one with the gloves. 
And then I've used the magic sentiment on top of a rosette here. And I think that turned out really cute and fun. And you could just add that to a bag topper or, you know, a project, whatever you're working on. Uh, and then I have this one that says rides. And uh, for this one, I use the bows across the uh, center there. And it says rides right there and really, really cute. And then for this one, I have the word castle and I've got the Mickey ears here. And then I use the castle that was released last year, I think, maybe, maybe the year before. I can't remember. Um, but this is a KS Craft Castle Shaker die. And I just used it in the background since my word here was castle. So those are super fun. I had a lot of fun making those. And like I said, that's a great way to use up your scraps. Okay. Uh, the next thing I have to share is this bag topper. This is the um, one that says Magical Times. And um, I had already kind of uh, shared this in my last video, but I did add a little bow and this little glove cabochon here at the top, which I think is super cute. And then uh, I just put one of those little tiny um, black uh, paper clips on here to hold it closed. And then I can attach it to a bag. And um, I think that is such a fun bag topper. So cute. Really, really perfect. And then uh, let's see, what else did I create here? I've got this little bag that I made. This is using the Easter bag set that came out, I think a couple releases ago. And instead of adding the Easter bunny to the front, I instead used this pennant uh, die here and added that instead. And then I've got this dream word across the uh, center of that and a couple little beads dangling off the side and a little fuzzy pom-pom. And this is just like one of those stir sticks for your coffee. Um, I like those because they're kind of low profile. And yeah, I think that turned out super cute. And got the inside lined. Uh, this paper on the inside is from Doodlebug. So I've got two different collections mixed here. I've got the Simple Stories and then the Doodlebug on the inside. But they go together pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's a fun little bag. That would be perfect for like a birthday present or something like that. And then the last thing I have to share, which is really fun, is this castle die. Um, so I put this together. And this is a lot of fun to create. Um, this would be so cute for a little party. You could fill it with candies. You could use it as a centerpiece. You could give it as a gift. Cute for swaps. It would be cute to do it in like a little princess theme as well. Um, you could do all kinds of themes, but I was kind of keeping with a, um, you know, theme park type theme here. So I created this, the, in this part here, this castle, and then, um, these two towers, and then I actually glued mine together. So it's all, it's all one piece. Um, so I glued those together. The lid does come off of these, and then I lined the inside with this polka dot paper. And then um, in the center, this part opens as well. And um, let me take these lids off. And you can put some goodies inside of there. And you can fit a ton of stuff in this box. If you had a swap to do, this would be a great swap box because you could fit probably quite a bit of stuff in here. The only thing is, is these are a little narrow. So whatever you're putting in here would have to be the right size to fit in these. Um, but you could fill this up with all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so yeah, that was really fun little, um, project and it came together really quick and easy. Once I kind of figured out what I was doing, um, then it was uh, pretty fast to put together. So yeah, really fun. And I just, um, layered up some embellishments here on the front and I use some stuff from the collection. And then I've got this little enamel sticker here and this little cabochon on the door. And I've got acetate in the windows. And I think it's really fun and really cute. And I really enjoyed creating it. So there you go. Those are my projects. I hope you enjoy them. I will leave the links for everything in the description box below. If there is anything that you have questions about, please feel free to ask. I'm always happy to help in any way I can, and I love to read your comments. Um, and as a reminder, these dies were sent to me for free as part of the design team. 
and I think that's about it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.